you out of breath, sister? Hello, everybody. It's Sunday, 30 Central Time, which means Dion, right? Me. <laughs> that me. That's really good, honey. That me uh, from the Turquoise Cyrus. We're here. Matt's here. Hello. And Abby's here. And we are going to work a little bit more on this uh, piece of furniture. So I'm loving the blue, but I got to flip it over on the sides. Hello, Papa Mac and Irene. Hi, my Michelle. Um, we're on Instagram as well. I see some of you guys popping on. Hello. Hello, friends. Um, all right. I am I am going to get started on this because I am ready to move on past the blue. Um, we did this. Then we did this. And we're going to do the side. And then we've got to get moving on because we have some gold to roll on. Um, and we might start that on the front down here on the bottom. Oh, no. No, we won't. What? what? No, what I wanted to do. I I was gonna think I I was thinking I might do the gold, but no, we're not. We're not. We're not. Why are we doing the gold? Because I've got other steps to do. I wasn't thinking. I was kind of jumping ahead. I'm ready to do the fun stuff and get past the base layers. I'm using the VIP brush from Paint Pixie. Right. I'm right, truly right. ready. Um. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Hello, hello, Laura. It's big Labor Day. Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. weekend. Labor Day. Matt, what's your plans for tomorrow? I've got big plans for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've got I mean, I've got a mow. Oh, you are? Yeah. Do we need a mow? Uh, probably not, but I'm going to. Oh. So I'm going to mow, and then i got to go to the grocery store. No, you went today. The health food store. Oh, that's true. And then I've got to get some pool time. Well, sure. That's and fair. That's fair. So, yeah, that sum really sums up my day before you start the work week. Pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty How good. About, what about you? What do you got going on? Oh, I don't know. Probably work. Probably work. Today, he made dinner. He usually makes steaks and does grills on grills on Sunday nights. And he said, honey, I need you need to do one job. And I said, okay. And he said, I need you to cook your salmon. I said, I got this. He gets everything out. He has it all setting out. He even cuts the bag that the salmon is in, like the plastic. All I have to do is put it in there, cook it, take it out, and not burn it. I charred that thing. And I literally was standing within three feet of the skillet. And I look up, and I'm like, oh, crap. No, I burned my own salmon, well, though. I had one job tonight. The only reason, the only reason you, you knew it was burned is because you smelled it. Yeah, I would have never looked up. <laughs> I smelled it. I had one thing to cook while he was making dinner. I mean, I, I flipped over the potatoes, too. But I didn't burn those. No, you, you, you almost undercooked them. Well, you I cooked cook. them longer than you said to, actually. But I had one job, and I was like, oh. So then I didn't have anything other than the sides to eat for dinner. Okay. Lisa okay. Dixon okay. says, D, you cook like I did. Well, I'm distracted. I'm distracted. I was, you know, sitting there on my phone. So let's go down. Uh, Lord, you saw your some black and salmon. Nice. Well, I picked off the top layer. Let's just say that. Uh, Derek, I normally do the cooking. But he just said, do this one thing. I I'm going to go out to the I grill. Had, I had, see, I cooked, I cooked burgers and, and, and brats for the rest of the week so I can eat lunch and dinner because Dion's going on out of town. So, Anyway, and then I was cooking steaks. Well, I wanted the, the salmon to be done. I was going to cook the salmon on, on the skillet inside. Uh, it's hard for me to be in two places at one time, so I was just like, hey, can you do this? And you need to figure out the two places at one, at one time, please. I know. Apparently, I have figured. I had to stand there and babysit the green beans and the corn and cook my own salmon, and I failed epically. Like, the green beans were fine. I warmed that up good. I did a really nice job on warming yeah, up. Yeah, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Warming up the green beans and the corn. I agree. <laughs> Anybody else burn something lately? Anybody else burn their anything lately? Yes, Derek, I agree. It is hard to find good help. Oh, so true, Derek. Oh, Lord. You guys, we are doing our spread love. The piece that I'm giving away is Treasure Island. I sent it out in the email today. If you're not on my email list, the way that you're going to nominate someone is by getting on the email list. It's the only way that you can nominate somebody. You can't send me an email or send me a message or anything. 
because they have to be all there together on the same form. So we give you a link and I want you to be thinking about who deserves, which so many people could deserve something nice, right? Yeah, Vanessa Brown, she burns bread rolls and biscuits every time. Gosh darn, I know we burn biscuits, haven't I? Yeah. I burn some biscuits. You tend to get distracted. Yeah. And that's not a good thing when you're cooking food. Yeah. So guys, what we'll do next Sunday's email is going to have the link where you can fill out name, email, blah, blah, blah. And you can nominate who you want us to give that piece of furniture to treasure Island that I posted uh, the other day. And we have already had a wonderful donation for shipment shipping sent to me today good, good friend of ours yep mm -hmm. already sent some shipping so even the shipping will be covered so far it's partially covered and i want to spread the love we did that all last year by giving away furniture and art we'll do we'll do this piece of furniture and then we'll do a piece of art how about that matt sounds good um, but next time we do a piece of art, I would like for you to help me. You mean you want me to do it for you? Oh, yeah. Is that what you really mean? Yes, need? let's do that. Let's do a spread love giveaway and give Matt's painting away. No, I meant do it with me, like like paint with me. Okay. Um, Rohini says, Hi, she says, come visit us. We will make you amazing salmon, freshly caught salmon. Oh, my gosh. Does Tam, Tom cook or uh, does he fish fillet it and do all the things too That's i awesome. bet somebody does okay good call lisa good call okay i am so excited to get this one done and we i only work on it when we're live and so i have a long ways to go long ways we have irma here with us tonight hi irma no nickname uh, Sherry Solner, she says, I burnt a pot while on the stovetop and grabbed it and put it out on the mat in the garage. Cool. <laughs> Went out after a while to see if it could save it. It was melted to the mat. Oh, <laughs> no. So, oh, the better thing, the, here's the kicker of the story. It started kind of smoking and I was like, oh, I'll just turn on the overhead vent. She didn't know how to do that. I didn't folks. know. I didn't know where it was. I couldn't figure I out. I thought I've seen everything. And yeah, that one shocked me a little bit myself. That shocked me. But in my defense, I did find the right switch. I was turning the right switch. But you know how a lot of stoves will say fan? I mean, I sound like an idiot, like I don't ever cook. But obviously, I haven't needed the fan before because I didn't know how to do it. Derek would like me to do a painting of the salmon. Oh, Derek, you're funny. Derek, I would just basically use a little black dress and a little bit of black velvet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so, who loves this? Who loves this piece? I do. Uh, we will not be on Wednesday, guys. Just as a quick reminder, I will be in San Diego. And I, even though I will be live, I won't necessarily be live at 8.30. I'm going to go teach, teach a Facebook Live class. So Instagram, you get a much better view. Way better. Betty, thank you. I do too. Thanks, you guys. Listen, thank you for, for throwing out the hearts and passing this around and sprinkling this video. It means the world, especially if you're catching it on the replay. Hi, Tonda. Okay. So we did blue iris. We put water lily in here. We put old 57 on here just as a quick highlighter. And I'm going to do that again, the exact same process but in a lighter coat because it's going to be the next, the second. And then once I get that done, I want to highlight, which keep in mind, I'm going to use Monet's garden and a tad of kissing booth because I'm trying to mimic the piece that's in our room, our front living room. And so I'm doing it the exact same way. It's really similar in style. So I've got to, I've got to use a little bit of Monet's garden and hit the flowers and a little bit of the vines and stuff. And if we don't like it, we can paint over it right? Any questions, Matthew? No questions. Thank you. Karen's over on Instagram. She says it's a great view from here. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep painting. 
Does anybody have any idea who they might nominate for the Spread Love Challenge? Matt, do you have anybody you think that should be nominated? You don't have to tell us. Well, why did you ask me? No, I'm just saying, have you thought about like someone you hope gets nominated? I have not thought about it. I just know we will get a lot of really good submissions. Yeah, we will. I need to figure out what where Mr. Gavin is. Sherry Solder, she has a question. Sure, Sherry. If you wax it, though, can you still paint over it? Yeah, you can. I paint over wax all the time. I just kind of rough it up a little bit with my sanding sponge, but I do. Betty has somebody in mind, and Molly would like for me to nominate her. Molly says, Matt, will you nominate me? I like her style. Molly has been on Friday Night Live the last couple of weeks. Fun gal that works in the ER. Or no, the heart. Wait. Is it the ER, honey? For Molly? Oh, Molly, I promise I, I was, was paying attention. No, I, I promise. I, I, I was under the impression it was just the heart. It the was heart. A heart recovery. That's right. Heart recovery. Very stressful. I see you. I see you. That's right. Okay. Uh, Myra says, yay, I caught you live. Well, thank you. I'm glad Even you're Lisa here. Lisa Dixon knew that I see you. Yeah, they pay better attention. Well, we were testing you, Lisa. We were testing people. Yes, open heart surgery, open heart recovery. Ooh, boom, I got it, boom. Are you booming right I'm now? I'm booming, I'm dropping the Why mic. are you booming at us? Because you actually got something right. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> So I'm using the VIP brush with Blue Iris and the Caddy brush to try to get a smooth finish on here. I'm going to end up rolling gold on it for a lot of texture and um, highlight some of the flowers. I'll, of course, highlight the hardware with the gold and pop all of that back out. Right now I'm painting over it because uh, I love the look of it painted with the gold on top of it. I just think it's really beautiful. Shelly Sprague, holy mother. That's blue. It's freaking gorgeous. Thanks. Hi from Nova Scotia. Hey, Matt. Hey, Dion. Hello. I'm so glad you're here with your kind words. We appreciate you so much. Today, Thank Kathy you. Anderson. Hi, Kathy. Hope everything's okay. Swimmingly well over there in Australia. Good day. Did you say swimmingly well? Swimmingly well. Wow. Crikey. Okay. You know what I was thinking of? Those boots that she sent me last year. They're going to be worn out. Marwa, I hope I say this right. Yeah, Marwa. Marwa so Solomon. Uh huh. Hello from Kuwait. Hello from Kuwait. Well, hello. Marwa. What time in What time is it in Kuwait? It's late or early. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's probably early in the morning. Um. Derek is really liking the blue, Patty. Says hi from Florida. Hi from Florida. Floridia. Nope, you just added extra letters. Floridia? Yeah. Just Florida. Just Florida. But they're called Floridians. I thought I've gotten that correct. That's true. Have you guys listened to the podcast that came out Thursday with Susan Mary? Good one. She Good is the clinical podcast. psychologist, and she works with a lot of creatives on restoring their energy and their sleep. And um, I know her personally, and Matt listened to the podcast and said, I wanted it to go on longer. It was so good. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I mean, it was, I enjoyed the psychology part anyway. I mean, yeah. that's something that I really enjoyed. Yeah. So it was quite interesting to hear uh, somebody who directly works in this business yeah right mm -hmm. um yeah talks about it. it's quite interesting and he said her voice is so calming mm -hmm. so uh lisa dixon oh no excuse me uh marla said it's 4 44 a.m 4 44 sweetheart you should be asleep i should be i agree not you oh. marla but thank you for joining us tonight she's an early riser yeah you know, she's got stuff to do today honey I guess. I guess. Uh, Irma Rosales says, Mr. Matt, when did you know you wanted to marry Dion? Or, <laughs> or did she tell you? <laughs> um, or did I say? And actually, 
Irma, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it did not take me very long to realize she was the one that I wanted to marry. Um, like I said, we were, or Dylan said the, the other night, we were actually really good friends before um, we started dating. But I think we both knew we liked each other. So yeah. it really didn't take me too long before I knew I wanted to marry her. But how long? Um, because you were flirty. I'm sorry? You were flirty. I'm a flirty? Yeah. You were a flirty fan. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. It means I'm a nice guy? No, there's oh. a difference. Gotcha. Um, I would say, I mean, it was, well, you were already graduated. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you my Her senior year. So it was. Your it was, senior year? Yeah. He was 17. I so was basically, yes, Irma, your, your projection on whether I told him you're going to marry me, that partly is probably a little bit true. But I don't think Matt, Matt's not one of those guys you can ever get him to do something he doesn't really want to do. That is correct. Um, tell me I can't and watch me go. Or, well, and tell you what to do and watch you not do it. Correct. Yeah. Thank you, Irma. I appreciate that. That's a sweet that. question, Irma. She said, I admire your friendship and relationship. Aw. Very Thanks, nice. Irma. Thank you. Thank you, Irma. This is so fun, Matt. So I tried to get him to come over here and sit down tonight. That uh, was what I asked him. I said, can I teach you how to blend tonight? Does anybody want to see Matt blend? Raise your hand. Hello. Not me. Nobody wants to see Matt blend. That nope. can't be right. Actually, there's quite a few thumbs down right now. Really? Yep, quite a few. Doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. uh, Molly would like to know, how did Matt propose? It mm -hmm. was quite extraordinary, Molly. Um, <laughs> I think he was a little nervous, Molly. Quite romantic. Oh, yes, yeah, so romantic. We were getting ready to go over to her father's house for Christmas. A Christmas yeah, party. it was a Christmas. And I thought he was going to give it to me on Christmas Day because I did know, I did know he was going to be proposing at some point soon, but I didn't know when or where or anything. So we're getting ready to go over there, and she basically said... If I don't have a ring on my finger before we go over there, it's over. And so... What I... are you saying this <laughs> moment? Gosh. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it's so not funny. Um, wasn't highly romantic at all. Well, it wasn't romantic, but it was super sweet. We were, you know, 20... He was 20 years old, so he was a baby. And um, he did get down on his knee. And we were alone. Um... In my apartment, he'd come over to pick me up, and and instead of him, it was five days till Christmas, so I thought I still had a few days, or I wasn't really sure what, what was going to happen. He just totally took me off guard. That way, when we did go to my dad's, I was able to show them. So, <laughs> anyway, I know, Lisa's like, Matt, yo! How long were we engaged before we got married? That was Christmas. We got married in August. Okay. So we, we were married eight months. Eight months. Well, how long were we together before we got engaged? Four years. Four years. Okay. All right? I, I don't know. Yeah. Four years. I have no idea. Yes, you do. Don't act like you don't. I, I really, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So right now I'm just working on layers because I'm doing the exact same thing that I did to the first layer, but we're doubling up, we're creating more texture. You can see some of the, the under layers. You can see some of this old 50. This is old 50 set. Is Michelle on? Um, I did see her at one point, but I haven't seen her yet. You did see her, but you didn't. See I her. have not seen her okay. since the beginning. Okay. I was going to show you guys a couple of my new hats. I will be launching them soon. Um, you guys have been asking for more hats. I'm going as fast as I can. They do take quite a bit of time. But I have eight more hats that are going to be launching soon. They'll be on my website. I promise I'll announce dates. Make sure you're on the mailing list. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple of them in just a minute. And yes. Then, oh, sorry. Go ahead. And Matt will hand them to me. Yes, Tonda. I am younger than Dion. 
Yes, he's um, by a year and five months. He's a baby for his age. I graduated when I was 17. Yeah, it's because he was so smart. His mom said, I cannot keep this kid at home any longer. He's too smart. I'm pretty sure that's, that wasn't it. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure my mother did not say that. It must have been your dad that said it. <laughs> my dad didn't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is too smart. We got to get him out of here. All right, honey, will you get me some uh, Monet's Garden? Monet's Garden? Uh-huh. That's the green, right? Yeah. This is the, we put Monet's Garden on the first, on the piece that I'm trying to uh, emulate and copy. Uh, look in there first. Oh. Yeah, I mean, okay. Don't see it. That's not it. That's not it. Monet's Garden, right there. Thank you, baby. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use my mop brush because it's soft. And uh, Irma would like to know if you have a name for this thing yet. No, that's such a great question too, Irma. You are on it. What should we name it, Irma? You pick, Irma. Irma gets to pick. Well, everybody can pick, but you know, I don't I think, know. I think that's awesome if she does. I'm just usually you open it up to the everybody. Okay, everybody go. Request. <laughs> Ready, set. Hi, Sandy Green. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Jessica. I see you guys over on Instagram. I appreciate you. I'm taking a little Monet's garden. Now, keep in mind, we'll be adding gold. We'll be adding a little bit of um, black wax. And so right now, everything's a little bit more intense than in what it's actually going to be. Betty says we should name it Blue Iris. Okay. That's a good one. Reminds Irma of denim. <clears throat> it's a lot brighter than denim in person. Uh, Blue Denim says Irma. Uh, Papa Mike, can I read? Uh, Giselle? 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 G is it Z? Is it just? Yeah. Okay. It, if it's an S. G I S S E L L E. Yeah, Giselle. There's a lot of ladies that are older than their husbands. Yeah, well, my mom's eight years older than my stepdad. Well, thank you, Tonda. She says, it's so nice to hear y'all talking. Just want to say, over the last year, it's been consistent comfort. And entertain too. Oh, that's so nice, Tonda. Molly says Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Janet from another planet is in the house tonight. Janet. You know, I'm kind of thinking, you know, she's she's getting to be big league, you know. She's getting recognized where she goes. Do you think she'll you think she'll you think she'll remember us? Do you think she'll remember us when she's big time? I hope she will remember us. <laughs> <laughs> She's rolling her eyes right now, going, Matthew. Oh, I know. Lisa Dixon says Sapphire Dreams. Sapphire Dreams. So we're done with the Caribbean series, guys. So we can call this anything. Summer's considered over because my kids are back in school. So we don't have to stick to a Caribbean name. We can call this anything. Now, the piece that's in my living room, I named it the Parisian Hutch because I just got back from Paris when I finished it. So Delphinium Splendor because it's the vibrant blue, like a delphinium flower. That's really good, Sherry. You know I like the flowers. Um, Irene says, I got nine and a half years on Papa. Nine and a half, yes. There you go, Irene. Way to go. I love that. <clears throat> and I'm just really glad that you're here. Really glad. And, you know, Tonda said that it's been a consistent thing for her for the year to, for us to be here and to know that we're going to be on. And it's the same for Matt and I because we feel that consistency. And um, it's very comforting just going through whatever, whatever you're going through, whatever we go through. It's very comforting to come on here and feel normal. And believe it or not, this feels normal. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. Coming yeah. on here, like this is part of our normal day. Um, so it feels, it keeps us comforted as well. You do. Well, it's, it's, it, it reminded me a little bit of um, what, uh, she, she, is it, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, podcast. It's Susan Mary. Su Susan Mary talked uh -huh. about um, a, a 
being consistent with the schedule. Yeah. You know, and it does, although it seems, you know, stressful at times to keep the schedule, it, it actually helps um, having that schedule, knowing what to do and not just sitting around and thinking about things that you shouldn't think about. <laughs> Yeah, I for my brain when it's idle, I that's when I worry. Idle time means worry. And so I prefer to stay busy um, because that's the way I work through things. I just not that I avoid things, but idle time always means um usually when you're a worrier like me, that means the worry sets in, right, Matt? Mm-hmm. Well you start thinking of, of thoughts is it or or just hypotheticals or what ifs that yeah i'm a what if game type of person yeah big what if girl <laughs> did you say i'm a big what if you're girl? a big what if girl oh my gosh uh just a quick update just in okay give me the news flash honey <laughs> Uh, Jennifer from Another Planet. Her mother just got back with them from a lobster and shrimp dinner and doing fine. Well, good. I just wanted to throw that out there for good. everybody. Good. That's good news. We're just adding a little bit of Monet's garden, and I am going to show you guys my hats while this is drying, unless nobody wants to see them. Did anybody say they want to see them, or would that be embarrassing if nobody wants to see them? See what? My hats. I just said that. Oh no! I think we should like build up anticipation and not show anybody. Yes. I just said I was going to show them. But don't say that kind of stuff. But I already said. Um, a Sue Rosenblatt said Memphis Blues. Memphis Blue. I like that. But when I look at this piece, I feel like it feels a little bit more feminine than Memphis. You know what I'm saying, Sue? Like, uh, I get forty four. Would love for me to model them. Oh, Matt, you should model the hair. Would that be with or without the man move? Okay, bring him over here, Woodsy. Honey, you're going to have to grab several and come over here. Oh, like I they're just waiting. I'm reading comments. It took him a while to get out of the chair. Oh, really? You throw it? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't have to try them on. Hello. Okay. Here's one. This I, I used a new gold silk ribbon that I had not used before. So I got out and I put the navy velvet with it. Hats and man moves. Oh my goodness. So there's that one. That one also has pink on it. Then this one has my drop cloth with silk, pink silk, blue silk. It's I'm just waiting on the pins. Blue Moon, says Irma. That's another good one. This one has pink velvet. Matt, did you see this? This is velvet and silk pink ribbons. Okay, tossing hats at me. This one, this hat's a little bit different. It's beige. It's not a bright white one like that one. And it has the coral and the teal. This one is definitely a little bit more fallish. Definitely more fall like, but it also has my drop cloth in the silk. I got an apricot color ribbon and this one too. This one's a pink one. I love this one. Hold on, don't throw that at me right now. <laughs> I love this one. So here's your sneak peek, everybody. Here's one more and I have um teal velvet ribbon around it sweet september that's a good name katie blue dream so i love this one too falling for the fall hat Boop. falling for the fall i've got teal velvet on this one love it with the gold so good is that all of them that's it. thank you there's your sneak peek omg i don't know the date that i'm going to release them but um, they will be soon. I still need to get the labels on them and all the pins in. Um, thank you, guys. Blue Autumn. Hey, hey. Joe Barsky says, are you painting the hats? I am painting the hats. I'm paint, custom painting the hats, um, and I'm custom putting my custom ribbons around them. Um, some are hand-dyed, 
they're silk, some are velvet, and then some are my strips of my drop cloth. Okay, um, would you, real quick, just tell everybody where to find your podcast so they can go check out all your podcasts. Of course, anywhere you listen to podcasts, if you have an Apple, you already have that little purple Apple. Um, I, iPhones have the Apple podcast app on there. Thank you. Valerie. Where else can you find the podcast? Is it you can just... find it on uh, Stitcher. If you have an Android, it's an app. You can get Stitcher. Um, you can listen to it on, um, where do we listen to our music? Where do I listen to my music? I heart radio. No. Um, Django. No. Django. Those are so old. Those are the old apps. Um, I don't know. Amazon? No, it's not on there. Thank you, 144 Decor. Thank you for saying Spotify. It's on Spotify as well, you guys. So if you have an account for there, you Prime? can get it. Uh, but it's on probably five different ones. But to keep it easy for you, if you go to my website and you go to the turquoiseiris.com and you click on podcast, Pandora? we have the link right there for you. The and name of the, the podcast is Paint Talks. Paint Talks apostrophe S. Google put apostrophe S on it. And guys, we have 50 podcasts. Um, we hit 22,000 downloads. And next week, this Thursday, I have Zeb and Jamie Ray coming on the podcast. It's so good. They tell such a good story, you guys. Oh, they're number 50. They're 51. Oh, they're 50? They're 50. They're 50. Okay, and so we're about to do a whole year of podcasts. Guys, if you haven't, you've missed so many people. You've missed Annie Sloan's interview. You've missed Debbie Beards, uh, Quita Allen, Anissa Perry. We had so, so many, many people. Goodness. Well, 50. Llewellyn what, Craston. What was, the, what was the guy's name we were talking about earlier? Brent? Brent. Haynes. Brent Haynes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And my brother was on there, and Matt's going to be on one really soon. Mm -hmm. You keep saying that. Actually, I need one for next week, so you're probably going to have to do so it. Next week, you have, you have uh, Jamie. And That's Jeff. what you do. Uh, anyone know where to find Susan Mary's podcast? Yes. Uh, you go to Paint Talks' podcast. She asked that a minute ago. She probably heard everything you said. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just now saw the comment. I'm yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, and you can see it. It's pink, and it has a picture of me. But also, you can find it through your website. As yeah, link, you yeah. can go to my website. We keep a link on all of there, all the blogs, all the podcasts, all the magazine stuff. You can always find everything on my on my website. We we make sure daily that we update the website. Um, but what I need to do is retro on... was on there, wasn't she? No, nope. no. Nope. She's saying he he. She's laughing. Wasn't she was she me. Not on there? Well, she needs to get on there. No, she wasn't on there yet. Has she has she submitted to the journal yet? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, we got to start working through the next issue. So we're pulling up people that were in issue four. Uh, but the deadline for the journal hit. It's over with. Um, if you haven't got your submission in yet, you may have to wait till the next time. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you have a great week. I won't be here Wednesday because I'm going to be um, Out of town. going to Debbie's store and... What else? And it's a good thing you haven't taught me how to go live. Because you would go live on my account? I'm, I might. I might get on there and just start telling secrets. Secrets? Yeah, secrets. I'm full of secrets. We, you know, we don't even have any secrets. We have secrets. So listen, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of fun things happening. In the email today, be sure you open it because I gave you a list of events for September, October, and November of all the things that are going to be happening. Um, and it's a lot. So um, if you have any questions, please reply to the email and I'll be right there waiting on you, everybody. Thanks for popping on with us tonight. We're going to get this Blue Beauty finished when I get back from being out of town. And we will be back a week from today. Yep, we'll be back a week from today for Paint Talk. I appreciate you guys. See you later. See ya. Let's see. Instagrams. Bye, guys. Thank you, Delisa. Thank you, thank you.